I have another iPhone 6 here with no power. I thought it was dock connector because it, it was physically damaged. So I replaced it and still no power. And um, you know, I flipped it over to measure the um, BCC main. See there's a short on there initially and uh, it's weird but um, CF5202RF which is let's see, this chip right here Okay, let me let me do it. So this is CF5202. This is the easiest thing to measure without having to desolder any shields or anything to check for BCC uh, short on BCC main. So so look look at this. This doesn't beep for some reason. Look, this does not beep. All right. Maybe maybe this joint is loose as well. I don't know. Oh, of course, now it beeps. Okay, so maybe there was just something on it <laughs> when I initially tested it. There's some sort of uh, covering on it, so that wasn't actually getting down it. But anyways, I measured it, and there wasn't a short, so uh, that's why I replaced the dock connector. So that was a mistake. Um, so anyways, looking at it, you know, I always check CF5202 first. Um, that didn't look like it was bad, so next thing I always check on iPhone 6 is is this right here. And if you look really closely, I'm going to zoom in here. You see those little beads of solder ball right there? That, my friends, is a bad component. And uh, I've already had one of these already, so it's um, this one right here that's bad. So I'm just going to replace it. I don't know why, but this seems like this one on iPhone 6 goes bad all the time. See, it's already loose. I mean, it solder balls got out of it. Um, so, anyway, so that's it right there. I'm gonna replace it, and that will fix the problem, guaranteed, 100%. <coughs> guaranteed. Um, I probably didn't need to replace that damn charge dock, which cost me about 45 minutes, 30 minutes of my life. I did get a video out of it though, so. And I am dragging today. Okay, so let's get to work here. Okay, let me find out what component it is. I'm pretty sure it's like a 10 microfarad something, yada yada. Let's see, uh. Uh, it's a 10 microfarad 6.3 volt 0402. Alright, I definitely have that, so I'm gonna take that out. Okay, it's right here. Well, <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> uh. 
Let me clean this up first. Um, get a little flux here. Last time it took me about like 20 minutes to do this. Hopefully it'll be a little bit faster this time. Okay, so All right, I think that's good. Let's see if there's still another short. I didn't even test that one cap to see if it was bad or not. I just assumed it was. Anyways, I'll just I'll do it right now. I don't even know if that's uh. I don't even think that's on. Good. Let me uh redo this.
All right, I think that's good. All right, we're good. Let's test it now. Probably going to work, I think. Alright, plug it in. There we go. We got a battery sign, which is a good sign, and we got the Apple logo. So I think we're getting close. All right, looks like we're back in business, so I'm going to send this sucker back. Um, $100 repair. I'm going to charge 99 bucks for it. Uh, so that is it.